So tonight we're in the Manti LaSalle's and we've got um, an opportunity to do some light trapping. Well, here we have a bunch of the equipment that we'll use for a, run a basic light trap. Um, there's lots of different setups that you can use. Uh, I like the simplicity of this. I just get a, a simple little insect light and it attracts the insects um, to this specific light and we're going to shine it against a white cloth we use uh, to enlarge the light. And you'll see how cool it is when uh, this light uh, reflects off the, the sheet. And then we'll also use a bucket. So we'll have a bucket um, that we'll place the light over the top of with some rubbing alcohol on the bottom and the insects will come to the light and whoosh, fly right into the bucket and it'll be preserved for us without a lot of effort. We can also pick the insects off the sheet with our forceps and then place them also in a little, a little vial to look at later. This is a really interesting way to sample arthropods, insects uh, that are nocturnal. And sometimes when you go at different elevations like this, you know, it's hit or miss because it's kind of cool and you're around a 7,000 foot, foot level. And, and so there's, they, it gets a little cool for them and they don't, they don't come out as well as they do in a, a hot desert and things. But you'll need a, a power source. So I have an external source here. It's a battery charger. We can plug into that. You can use an extension cord if you have, you know, outlets, uh, power outlets uh, that you can, you know, plug into. But these, these do cost some money. They're, they're not incredibly expensive, but it's also a lot of fun to, to use in your, in your sampling. You can gather these materials and, and use them in a lot of different environments and enjoy sampling uh, different insects. So we got lots of crane flies. We got those local springs that are close by, but um, a lot of mating crane flies. So this is the the time of the year for the mating crane flies. Um, you can see our setup here has been been successful. I mean, we've got oh, there's one in my hair. We've got our light, our sheet to help enhance uh, the light itself. It reflects that off. And here's a really nice look at that. There's a, a Neuroptera Chrysopidae, a Neuroptera. The green lacewing. Here's my, my caddis fly. I love to catch these up, up here. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's a wonderful um, aquatic species that a lot of fish, fishy birds enjoys as well. So it's a nice, nice catch as well as uh, a green lacewing. I always love those. Collected our first, uh, looks like hemipteran that came to the, the light trap. Um, you could leave this out for hours and just just collect, you know, different different organisms. Uh, it turns out that it sometimes uh, during the night, a little later, I end up, uh, you know, getting some larger moths uh, a little later in the in the evening. Uh, but you just let it run, and you can check it in the morning if you'd like, and then put everything in your jars. Then uh, take it take it back to the class, and we can we can help you in terms of identification, help you pin. There's a lot of great resources online as well. So there's folds in the the sheet, and sometimes little buggers get away. Mm -hmm. well, little hymenopteran. See, we're we're getting orders fast. There's homoptera. So you know, a lot of collections that your teachers and professors will have you do. You know, they'll say collect, you know, 15 orders, 20 orders, 100 families, whatever it is. And a light trapping, you guys can collect a lot of stuff real fast doing a light trap. And during the day, you know, it take me a long time to collect this kind of diversity. But if you want to go out at night and set up a light trap and go to a couple different locations, go to the mountains, go to the valleys, go where there's water or swamps, ponds, uh, the foothills and you'll get different types of insects that you would not normally see during the day. So I suggest that, that you, you, you try it out. Very cool.